King Hollywood, what's the word, man? What's going on, baller? Man, listen, man, how you feeling? Feel like I'm being investigated, easy bright <laughs> ass like <that. laughs> What up, nigga? Nothing much, man. You've been having the city on lock for a minute, man. Let's jump right into it, man. With these car shows, man. How that shit come about? Uh, shit, Midway Street Riders, Davin City. Uh, Milwaukee always had a, a, a nice category, nice little lineup when it came to cars. And it wasn't nobody putting it out there no more for everybody else to see. It was all some local shit, so. Do you feel like niggas from other cities was um, still in Milwaukee swag as far as how they was customizing their cars or? Everybody know that. Hell yeah, come on now. We we do the most craziest. We the ones who put the colors together and then that's thing, you know, somebody in Atlanta, somewhere else, they done did it. Uh, they don't ask me, ask, ask their uncles, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Our generation would know, but your uncles, them, they know. Midwest Street Riders, for an example. Okay, what's what's like the Milwaukee specialty when it comes to customizing cars? Like, what what a stand out? Like, man, he got to be from the mill because he got, you know what I mean? Paint. Don't nobody paint like motherfucking Milwaukee. Shout out to Mel, Pedo, Phil. It's a lot of names, but ma uh, mainly paint. You know, you go to Chicago, you catch a box Chevy, it'd be the original color, black, gray, or whatever. You come up here, it's some, um, you're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, Houston, Texas? Because I know they known for Ryan, you know what I mean? Honey Spokes is doing what they do. Yeah, Texas is known for uh, what graffiti, the art, and all that other shit, and the swingers, and all that other shit. But when it comes to like wet ass, I'll register paint. The paint is going to cost you, you know what I mean? Milwaukee. What's the best car you ever seen in the middle? Like, what's your favorite one? Where you God, like, I ain't seen nothing fucking with that. That's hard as hell, but I'm going to give it to Pedo, God damn it. Damn, everything this nigga got. Shit. T-top turn. Most definitely ain't seen nothing top that shit. What color? That's the red motherfucking red Camaro with the black stripes all the way down the floor with 26s in the back and 24s in the front. Mm. It's like a transformer. He ever, he ever won one of the car shows you threw? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he won. And he won shows everywhere. Everywhere. Literally everywhere around the United States. How many car shows <laughs> you did? Shit, right now I'm at... Yeah, between 25 and 30. Between 25 and 30 shows? Last time I counted was 24. And that in, was, in the mill? Yeah. No, all of no, them in Milwaukee? No, no, not all in Milwaukee. Not all in Milwaukee. Probably four, four out of town. And the rest, I can say here. What was, Everybody give me, give me three, give me the top three biggest ones. Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson, probably, uh, Boleros. And the one before that. The one before that. Oh yeah, 60th on the south side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You remember who won? Uh, CJ on 32, CJ on 32s, and Scooter. <laughs> what do you What do you have on 32s? He came with the Challenger on 34s. What? Two times. Yeah. Different colors, different rims. How the fuck did he fit 30? What? Mm -hmm. How, how do you he do something Chicago. like that? Like, how do you fit 34 inch rims? You can put anything on, on anything, whatever you want to do. Anything, whatever you want. So it's all about just getting it cut wide enough? It's always about having you some money. You got to use some money, you pull up, tell them what you want. They going to put that shit on there. So so if I wanted to, I could put motherfucking 36s on the bins. They stop at 34. 34. Yeah. So I could put 34s on the bins. Yeah, you could. Cut that motherfucker up. Make sure your motor transmission big enough to pull that motherfucker or tune it to pull it. Boy, you good? Mm, you can do it. Some it's something out. Shit. It's a white man that got a um a small ass Benz coupe on thirty four. He in Florida. Damn. Old white man. How much do it cost to do something like that? Shit, it depends. Your suspension can go from five to ten thousand dollars. Your rims can go from five to ain't no telling. Five to twenty thousand dollars. You ever had um like any uh, celebrities and shit pull up to some of your car shows? Um, uh, shit. That's what you mean. What you call celebrities? I got YouTubers from everywhere that that come show love, and motherfuckers that got a whole lot of money. I will call them celebrities because they don't go to nobody else. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's some real shit. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit. So, but right now you just really out the mud with it, just making a. You know what I mean? Yeah. You no, see? Oh shit! It's been ten years. Okay. I've been doing it 13 years, but my 10th annual show next year. 
Yeah, I remember like damn near like kind of was it your first one? I did a flyer for one of them. Yeah. A minute was that yeah. was that ten years ago, nigga? Um, probably. I ain't yeah. working more when I went there. Shit. Yeah, you've been outside for a long time. We both been outside for a minute, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Niggas been doing yeah. this shit for a minute, man. Hell yeah. Now, as far as the dog breeding go, because I see everybody, like, they trying to breed these dogs, do this, do that, do that. Like, what's really going on, man? Uh, it's what, made, what made you want to jump in this shit, first I of all? I always loved dogs. I, I had a pit bull first. So, uh, if you ask a nigga, what's, what's, I mean... What's his first dog or some shit like that? If a nigga ain't had no pit bull, he in the Certified. bull. He got the bully because he just trying to make a couple dollars. That that bully probably hungry the motherfucker. Mm. I'll tell you now because they don't know what the fuck they doing with the dog game. But uh, when I came in with it, shit, I came in got me something cheap, and my goal was to make a bag so that I can get what I really wanted. And I got a boy that I spent five thousand dollars for, and the girl I got that ain't gonna say I don't care about spend. What you got? A boy, fat boy, like yeah, five thousand yeah. micro. Exactly. Micro, oh, bully. okay. You get the bully, micro bully. Yeah. So what? So and okay. I do the shows too. Shout out to Mike D. I got my dog from the top <coughs> breeder in, in in the Midwest right now. What makes him the top breeder? He bred the most dogs. He from California. Motherfuckers all around the world call him to ask questions. Motherfuckers all around the world call, send their dogs up here for uh, get their ears done and shit. He go to um he go around every day I'm wearing when nigga walk up he wake up in the morning come help you breed your puppies. Damn. Shout out to McAdoo too. My guy had all the animals in the house. Shout out yeah. to him too. That's the animal man. But when it comes to the dog shit, Mike D, he a vet with the bully shit. He can't tell you shit about a, a poodle or none of that shit. But a pit bull, American, anything, he got you. Man, that's for sure. So, do you plan to be one of the top dog breeders, or you just hell no? You just I, take just your love, I just love dogs, man. I love dogs, and when I came out with the dog and shit like that, it was a uh, you know what I mean. The lane, the, that life was already going fast as fuck. So when I hopped in and ass in, he was like, oh, he got one too, type shit. So everybody started buying my fucking dogs. Now it's watered down like a motherfucker. It's hard to yeah, cause I see everybody like yeah, I got everybody a kennel. Got a dog. Everybody got a dog, everybody got a kennel, but I'll shut that shit up right now. You cannot have a kennel if you ain't bred no motherfucking dogs, okay? You you just why you can't be a pet owner, man. Just you know what I mean? Be a yeah. pet owner. You ain't got no fucking kennel <laughs> if you ain't got some kids that you can say you made. Not yeah. that you you know what I mean, you made. You pay for C section, you put the dogs on the titties, you know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't got no kennel if you ain't got no litter, dude. <laughs> so when did it become popular for niggas to everybody, you know what I mean? Now they want a kennel. Like. Niggas started making money. Motherfuckers, they seeing motherfuckers making money. And a lot of dope boys uh, left the dope game alone and started getting into the dog game. So mm -hmm. when they got in the dog game, they started telling motherfuckers, oh, nigga, this all dogs. You know what I mean? So everybody, yeah. their mama, oh, shit, let me go and get a dog then and see. Then they get to the breaking your motherfucking pockets and shit. They niggas always looking at the profit, but not really you looking at, at yeah. Like you could take some L's in this shit too, man. Yeah. By the time you sell a lot that dog, you breaking even. A lot of L's. It's or, a lot of losing. shit with dogs. Uh, not a such thing. No such thing as dogs. I don't even want to put bullies in that category because you can get a bully and that motherfucker have some problems the next week, and you can have another dog and ain't nothing wrong with it. But bullies, them motherfuckers got problems. Like them really like. Not man, yeah, man made, motherfucker. American made shit, China made. <laughs> yeah. We made that shit from a Frenchie and a bulldog and a pit bull. Oh, so they've been really just forcing them together. Yeah, a bully, no matter what nobody say, a bully is a fucking bulldog, okay? But you want to pull the most bulldog uh, out of this pit as you could. Okay. That's a bulldog. I mean, that's a bully. No, okay, so that's two things that I've been seeing you in the city going crazy for, man. What about the uh the club promotion, man? I ain't really been seeing your name on these flyers unless it's been your event. Yeah, I like like, like you've been doing, you know what I mean, the fashion balls and shit like that, the player balls uh, and all that kind of shit. Like, what, you know what I mean? I left that shit alone, man. I was doing the team bash this shit a long time ago. Shout out to you, man. You sold me some shit. You know what I mean? You <laughs> did hog, did parties out of uh, motherfucking hog and shit. But, yeah. um, I left that shit alone, dude. You know what I mean? I just tried to pass it. I do want to do a team bash. I really, I'm really thinking about hopping back in that shit. Like, fuck it, you know what I mean? Because the teams ain't got shit to do. They ain't even got no bash to get beat up at. None of that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit used to crack, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit used to crack. 
It so I am That's thinking about pulling some shit together. I don't care about saying this because I want more than just me to do it. So I, I do yeah, want to so do you that. Just, but so when it comes to clubs, I just left them alone, bro, because I noticed my 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 crowd with the dogs, the players' balls, and the car shows and shit. We don't do none of that that hating ass shit, that ghetto ass shit. We don't do that, bro. You know what I mean? So my are crowd you, different. Are you looking to make money out of the team situation or you just want to do something to give back? And fuck not? Now, I always say it like that because if you say, no, I'm trying to make some money, niggas, but are you shy? Not like that, but, but you, you can saying? tell how he said it. Like, he want to help. That's getting yeah, back. Give the team to do. something to do. Right, yeah, it ain't nothing like, to do. But like, they got to still I, pay. Look, like, going, like right? for an example, for an example, I didn't pimp my way through every damn thing. So it's like, I always, I know what the fuck I'm doing. They go pay for what the fuck going on. You know, so. Yeah. We just bash, you know what I mean? We make, you know what I mean? A quick G, 1500 Okay, oh, he pocketed it? Yeah, right. Next week, we'll be at a hall that costs $1,000, motherfucker. Yeah. Y'all ain't going to see it, but I do it with the car shows, too. They, you know what I mean? Yeah. Put your mind to You always it, upgrade your work. shit. Yeah. You put it back into your shit. Yeah. That, them hoes, too. The events is hoes, too. All this shit is hoes, man. <laughs> if it's making you some money and you ain't putting no work in, you got to sit back and try to finish your way through that shit. If you ain't putting the work in, you got you as a hoe. That's a fact, man. <laughs> Y'all know what it is, man. So when you when you plan on throwing the next car show, man? July 23rd. Damn, we got to wait till July 23rd? That's, that's the big show, but we on the lane. Shit starting in June. That's Richards next to Walmart. Richards and Keith will be down there every Saturday. Anybody ever like tried to go in competition with with this car show shit and really like try to try to put an end to King Hollywood, man? No such thing as putting the end, but yeah, they be coming and maybe throwing a whole lot of little shots. I mean, not even not even like just Clark walking. Gloves. I'm talking about like 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 you see niggas from out of town. Oh yeah, like, uh, and you like man, that flyer look like my shit, man. No, some yeah, I get that a lot. And somebody in Texas has stole how you were on the name, how you were on a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, damn, a couple years ago. He was saying that uh, he started his shit, and then I showed him a video that I uploaded in 2011. That was how you are and we on and all that old shit. And he was like, "Damn, come on, nigga, you saw, you know this shit." <laughs> he was monetized on YouTube though. So then was I know I looked at it and I'm like, Dude, I got way more subscribers than you. I go on Instagram, you got like 1,500 follower, followers. I had like 20,000 in following, like 500. I I like, I'm like, man, if you don't change that fucking name. <laughs> you, like, did, you, did you contact him, though? Hell yeah, I You did. confronted him about yeah, it? Yeah, I did. What'd he say? What I said? Oh, shit, man. I've been to have it. Man, sent the nigga straight like shots. He still ain't racist? I said, yeah, he, he just took that shit down. Okay. His name ain't, ain't there no more. I think it's Mr. How You Riding or some shit. <laughs> it ain't yeah. How You Riding TV. Yeah, that's all that matters. No, no. Hey, I was just gonna mention that about the YouTube before we get up out of here. I see you monetized up now, right? Oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah, crazy. cause I clicked on some and I'm like, this a commercial? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, congratulations yeah, on that, man. Nice, man. <coughs> um, Making uh, look good. Yeah, man. I feel like man, you should be just on there talking your shit every day, man. You know, you got a lot of game. I ain't even really dig into what. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna come back with a part two, but it's a lot of good game that you could be charging the people for, man. And, mm -hmm. People are listening to the shit you got to say, man. So you should use that YouTube channel to your advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, the, me putting the... I don't even say that much on YouTube. Because to me, it's still free. Fuck that. <laughs> shit. I, I mean, been told these once niggas, them views go up, I done told seen some rich shit. niggas. It's not free. Well, look, let me tell you something. If you I, tell, I be telling a lot of niggas shit and I be helping niggas shit. And they do it and then they just be like Do you know also when you go live on YouTube you can oh, yeah. get tips and they give you ten dollars, yeah. twenty dollars, hundred dollars mm -hmm. when you talking that shit, that's what happened. That's I'm what wait. That I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give it a little time. Cause yeah. right now motherfuckers still biting trying to see yeah. how the fuck. Do a little doing, research, how see how much you can really that. get off yeah. of it, then you know you get I ain't been telling these niggas how to do too much. Yeah. They don't yeah, deserve all that. Oh, <laughs> Y'all know what it is, man. King Hollywood, man. Let them know where to follow you, man. Uh, Instagram, how you riding TV, and YouTube, Glazer with TJ. Goddamn it. Already gang. You can love. Google that. How you riding TV? How you riding TV, man? Like, comment, subscribe. Black Light yeah. TV. We in the fucking building, man.